Chairman. Ma'am, up here. Uh, per your opening comments, you're here representing the idea that you support a Palestinian state, correct? We support a two-state solution. Okay. Have you looked at that objectively? Uh, what do you mean, have you looked at it objectively? Have you analyzed that objectively? Um, this, is, this is something that we do support, yeah. Uh, that's not an answer. Have you analyzed a second Palestinian state objectively? Have you, have you analyzed it objectively? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. Have you I personally what it means analyzed to, it? You don't know what it means to objectively analyze know something? No, what it means objectively analyze something. Okay, so have you done that? No, I have not. You ha if, if, <laughs> if I understand your question. You might not be, because I can't believe that you would answer it in that way. If you, so uh, let me just start over. You're here uh, representing support for a Palestinian yes. state, correct? Yes, yes. Have you analyzed that support objectively? Yes. But you just said no. So well, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. Okay. I thought I made it pretty simple, but you said no. But I'll grant you that now you said yes, you have looked at it objectively. So having looked at it objectively, which I would assume somebody in your position does, uh, who would you assess would lead that Palestinian state? Pick a group. You can name a group, but I'm saying Hamas, Palestinian Authority, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, Fatah, some other group. Who would lead it? Um, I think that has to be uh, something that's considered. I don't think I'm in a position to say Who that did right you now. objectively assess would lead it in determining you have support for a Palestinian state? I don't, I don't want to, I don't think that I can answer that question. I think this has, this is part of a larger discussion. But you objectively assess that you support a Palestinian I state. I do support a In objectively assessing that, who do you assess would lead that state? What group that does not receive military support from, say, Iran, do you assess would lead that, that state? Um, I understand your question, but I think I would have to have a little, I, I, would, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable saying that without Have you not more assessed what group this. would lead it? Have you or have you not assessed who would become the leader of that Palestinian this is part, state? I, this is part of a larger discussion. But have you or have you not assessed that? I, I have, this is a part of a larger discussion. I don't yes. think... I can't answer that question. You can't I'm answer sorry. whether you have or have not assessed cannot, who would lead the state? I cannot answer a question about me, particularly what I think what, what it should be. I mean, I think that's part You of came here and said there should be a Palestinian state. Have you or have you not assessed who would lead that? Just yes or no. Have you looked at who would lead it or have you not? I, I support a two-state solution. I know, you said that numerous times. Have you or have you not assessed who would become the leader of that state? Fatah, Hamas, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, Palestinian Authority, somewhere else. Have you assessed who it would be? I don't feel comfortable. I'm sorry. I don't feel comfortable. You don't care. Question, feel comfortable feel saying if you have assessed something. No, what I don't feel comfortable with is making a statement when I think it's part of a larger discussion. Don't even say who it is. Just answer have you assessed it? Have there's you assessed an, who there, would lead there, it? Put it this way, there, there will be an assessment of this question within the U.S. government so in terms you of who we think came should be. I'm not in a, I'm you not have in a not position assessed. right now to say what that is because I think this is part of a larger discussion. This, it, honestly, it's amazing. I think it goes back to your original statement, which was probably the correct one, that you have not objectively looked at this, it's and you, purpose, you got it right it, when you said that. I'm going to move on to another question. part of what the U.S. government wants to do. I can't. I, You're supposed I to be like the part of the U.S. government that does that. I am part of the U.S. government, but I'm not going to say what the government should do. I have more time. Sorry. Uh, I have more questions, so I apologize. So do you assess that a Palestinian state would be more likely to be designated as a major non-NATO ally like Israel or Egypt, or would you assess that they would have to be labeled a state sponsor of terror? I can't answer created? that question. You, have you assessed that? I, these are questions that I'm not in a position to answer. I'm asking if you, you are in the position to answer if you have assessed whether that would be the case. You came here sit, sitting before Congress saying you are here representing the idea that there should be a Palestinian state. You said you looked at it objectively, which you probably didn't, and I'm asking if you, if you assessed that. So you can answer whether you assessed something or I, not. What I can answer is this is part of a discussion that I 
I don't think that I should be making those decisions or, or answering these questions right now. Answering what you don't think you should answer whether you assess something is amazing. Let me ask one more question. Why do you think that we should make a country out of a people that just conducted a Jewish genocide four months ago? Um, what? I'm not sure what you're, what you're asking here. Can I have time to repeat the question for her, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Since she doesn't understand? I object. Uh, she, she's Mr. asking Chairman, for a Mr. clarification. Mr. Chairman, the time limit has occurred. So the question, to repeat it since you said you don't understand Mr. Chairman, it, is, I continue to object. Why do you want to make a country Mr. of Chairman. a people that just conducted a Jewish genocide? Mr. I think Chairman. I said it very clearly. Please answer. I'm not going to respond to a question about, um, about that one. Sorry. I don't, I don't feel like I, I would I want to answer your question. I really do. But I just don't feel like I'm in the position right now that I can answer those type of questions. When I, when I, this is a question that's going to be just, uh, this is a question for the U.S. government. And You're the U.S. government. Yes, but I know. Undoubtedly, but we, you we cannot have it, answer. We're still work, we're still Thank you, Mr. Chairman, decisions. for indulging me to repeat the question that apparently was not clear. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Congressman Brian Mass. And we now proceed to Congressman, former president of the NATO PA, Jerry Connolly of Virginia. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I'm sorry for that berating. Um, you know, uh, the chairman began this hearing bemoaning the fact that uh, the Biden administration has, uh, you know, been slow in coming to the aid of Taiwan. Is there aid to Taiwan in this bipartisan security package? Yes, there that is. That passed the Senate? Yes, there is. And is that being blocked by Republican leadership here in the House? Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, Mr. Perry complained about his concern that Iran is marching toward nuclear capability. Could we, should we have had some kind of uh, arms control agreement to prevent that from happening? Yes. And what was that called? JCPOA. JCPOA. And what happened to that? We withdrew from JCPOA. Who did that? Uh, the prior administration. Is that a Republican or Democratic administration? Republican. Trump. Trump. Oh. Well, um, what about the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty uh, that, you know, that uh, had been between us and, uh, and the former Soviet Union, now Russia? Um, what happened to that one? We withdrew from that one. We withdrew from that. Mm -hmm. And who withdrew from that? Uh, prior administration. Tr President Trump. President Trump. And do you think the world is more or less secure since 2019 with that decision? Uh, the world is more secure if we have valid arms control treaties. I'm sorry? The world is more secure with valid arms control treaties. So it's the opposite. We're less secure because less secure. we withdrew from that. Yes. Otherwise, that sounds like, yes, we have no bananas. OK. <laughs> Um, what about the Open Skies Treaty and New START? What about those? What happened to those? Um, open Skies, we are no longer a party of that. And uh, New START Treaty, uh, right now, Russia uh, has suspended. But did we withdraw from that treaty? Uh, we did not withdraw from New START. The Open Skies Treaty. Open Skies Treaty, we did. We Nothing did. Was, and yes. who did that? Uh, the Prime Administration. I'm sorry? The prior administration. You, you don't President, want to name it. President Trump. President Trump. And that was a 34-nation treaty um, that contributed to security from your point of view? Yes, it did. So we're, by definition, less secure. OK, what about the Law of the Seas Treaty? Now, that one, surely we could agree to that one, right? Uh, yes, well, we, yeah. It would be good if we did. Because but did it we, is my question. Oh, we haven't. We, we are not a party to the treaty. Mm -hmm. Now, when we're looking at security in the Indo-Pacific, who benefits from American uh, non-participation in the Law of the Sea Treaty? China. China. And, and is China a member of the treaty? Did they sign the treaty? I don't recall. Yes, the answer is yes. Okay, good. Yes. And they, <laughs> they participate in every committee and subcommittee created by Law of the Seas Authority, and we're not there. What could go wrong with that, Madam mm -hmm. Undersecretary? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to be present. Does that to contribute to our security in the region? 
No, us not being present does not contribute to our security. Hmm. And uh, with respect, finally, to President Biden's uh, big security package supplemental and the big bipartisan vote in the Senate this week, you think that our security would be enhanced or damaged with House consideration and passage of that bipartisan agreement? Be strongly enhanced if we had that. Strongly enhanced if we have it. And do you think we're diminished if we don't act on it? We are diminished if we don't. In terms of, for example, NATO alliance, credibility, reliability. Yes, I mean Ukraine. I mean, there's so many things in this in this by in this uh, in the supplemental that really strengthens our security and being able to provide and be a leader in these issues. Hmm. Well, that's interesting that we're having a hearing on security, um, and uh, it's fascinating to actually delve into various treaties and agreements, all of which have been damaged by the previous administration. Thank you very much. I yield back. Tiếp theo là ba mối móc đơn và cùng một chân. Tiếp tục các bạn sẽ thực hiện cho mình 12 mối móc đơn. Tiếp theo thì các bạn sẽ thực hiện cho mình là 9 mũi móc đơn đầu tiên. sẽ là 14 mũi móc đơn và 3 mũi móc đơn vào cùng một chân cuối hàm móc thì chúng ta sẽ có 5 mũi móc đơn thì chúng ta sẽ thực hiện đầu tiên là 10 mũi móc đơn tiếp theo là 3 mũi móc đơn và cùng một chân Các bạn sẽ thực hiện cho mình là 16 mũi móc đơn
là ba mũi móc đơn vào cùng một chân Tiếp theo các bạn sẽ thực hiện cho mình đó là 18 mũi móc đơn 